Hey guys, Richard here. Um, welcome to my tutorial on how to make a Spectrosonics Trillion style bass instrument without actually having Trillion. So I'm going to be using Logic, uh, as I always do, and I shall show you how I would create, if I didn't have Trillion, that wonderful and analog and interesting bass sound that you get with Spectrosonics Trillion. So here we go. I've got my project loaded up uh, and I have an I'm going to choose a mono synth. So before I get started my thinking is this. Um the synths that I get with Logic and you'll get with any uh work audio workstation will be fine to work with, but as with a lot of these th things, you might get the result you want if you layer up different sounds. So rather than trying to find the perfect sound or create the perfect sound with one synth, maybe the way to go forward, and this one I'm going to show you now, is to layer the sounds. Okay, so so first of all, I'm, I'm just loading them up. I'm not going to um, go through any presets just yet I just want to get a sound so so what I'm gonna be looking the, the, the I'm gonna be the kind of thinking about four different layers so I'm gonna be wanting want to find a sine wave uh, for that really sort of subby end of it I'm gonna want to uh, find a kind of mid frequency uh, percussive sound um, I'm gonna want to sound and find a nice round bass sound and then maybe like an interesting uh, distorted sound that adds a bit more uh, a bit more interest to to the bass sound itself rather than just being single notes like this okay <clears throat> so I've got a mono, mono synth loaded up I'm going to load up uh, an ES1 as well another simple synth I'm going to load up uh, the ESX24 for my sine wave and so this is going to be up to you, depending on what workstation you're on. So this is where I'm going to, I'm going to find something that tries to emulate an analog bass, an analog synth like a Moog or an Arturia or something like that. Um, so where are we? I'm going to go for this retro synth. All right, there we go. Okay, so first of all, let's think about my layers. Uh, I'm going to find my percussive sound first. I'm, I'm going to use this. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to play with the cut off, cut off, uh, which obviously cuts off certain frequencies. So that's not what I want. I want something deep, but that's got a bit of punch to it. Nice. Let's turn the volume down a bit. I'll play with the resonance doesn't really do what I want it to do. Uh, if I lower it down an octave, nice, that's quite cool, I like that. That's like the low end. Sine wave, okay, this is the ESX24. Um, <clears throat> I would like this to be transposed down an octave. There we go, so if I play these two together, it's my sine wave. And I'm going to call it fat, just because. Already that sounds quite nice. All I did with this fat one was just loaded up a, a mono synth and just rolled down the cutoff, added some drive, which adds that little bit of distortion. And added in a sine wave. Sine waves are great for adding sub. You can double up uh, a sine wave with a kick as well. Um, very good way to fatten it out, especially if you drop the sine wave down to the lower frequencies that you can't hear, but you know that would you would feel if you had a, a subwoofer. Um, okay, next one up. Ooh, uh, so this is going to be. I think I want this to be the kind of the more detail too. So, so if I load this together, it sounds a bit cheesy. Uh, this sound here. So again, I'm going to roll off the cutoff. Turn the oscillator off. Take it down a couple of octaves. Change the filter, add some drive. Turn the 
resonance of. Cool. Okay, it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, oh, now this is where I kind of add. This is where I want to kind of. I mean, essentially, Trillion is loads of analog synths sampled, so loads of Moogs and things like this. Um, so you could, if you had a, a retro style synth like this, this analog one here, you could essentially uh, do that yourself. Oh, actually, I don't want that oscillation. Okay, um, now for this one, I'm going to go into the factory, de uh, factory default settings. Uh, as much as I am a fan of playing around with stuff, I'm also a fan of saving my own time. Uh, and that's obviously why I have Trillion, but um, I'm going to load up a bass here. I'm going to classic analog bass. This is going to save me the time. Nice. I mean, that so sounds straight out of the Drive soundtrack to me. That in itself is something you would find in Trillion, but Trillion also has... There's more layers to the basses. I like that. And let's see if I can transpose this down so that it's the, it's the same octave as everything else. Yeah. Minus 12 semitones. Okay, great stuff. Now, can I send all of these guys out through one bus? Uh, send output. I'm going to send it through to auxiliary one, which I already have loaded up. And here I've got a transient master. Uh, so if I bypass this now, the transient master is f it's a fantastic little plugin from Native Instruments here. Uh, I want to add a little bit more attack, which I've already done, twenty percent. So and a little. Well, I'll leave the sustain as it is for now. There we go. The attack sounds good. So let's just roll off the attack and see what happens when... Fantastic. I'm pretty happy with this sound, if I'm honest with you. Uh, I, I could then go on and treat... treat the sound that I've got uh, with some more plugins, because uh, this could be my... my my base, uh, my base bus. Um, that's where they're all going to be going going through. And obviously, just to save me the uh, trouble, I would, I would probably create a stack with these, uh, create track stack so that I can play them all together. Okay. Um, save me having to always highlight these four, or you could obviously create a group with these. New group, group one. Um, so that is how I would create a Trillion style bass without Trillion. I would go into whichever workstation I have, be it Cubase, Logic, Pro Tools, whatever, and I would find some mono synths. Um, you could use a well any synths, basically. Uh, FM synths work too. Um, and think about the layers of the sound you want. So here I just created this... Oh, hello. Let's let's uh, this fat punchy sound, which I really like on its own. That'd be great for a trailer intro. Again, sine wave is almost a kick happening here. This adds the sub punch. This is the kind of like cheeky percussive one here, and then this is the round bass that I was talking about. That nice round sound, and then you add them together. You get this fantastic trillion style bass, which is essentially uh, an analog synth we're, we're emulating here. So go away and practice that on your workstation. Find several bass sounds that kind of accumulate to become this one awesome sound that's got several layers that covers all the bases. Okay, thanks guys. Uh, don't forget to like this video and click subscribe. <laughs>